So I picked this up from Walmart in their auto section, their tire center, in their tire center, uh, for like 20 bucks, and it had everything I needed for a multimeter. My other multimeter that I misplaced, I put together as a kit at uh, JVS, Delaware South. Um, in 2000, 2001, so it's time for an upgrade anyway. So this one, I pre-cut it and I got the uh, two AAA batteries. It um, says you can do a non-contact voltage reference. It has a temperature sensor and it has a work light on it. Click, click, click. So here's your work light, but here's where you're also gonna sense any um, induction. Full range of AC and DC voltage and AC and DC current testing capabilities. Measures resistance, continuity, diode, battery, and temperature. It's also got like a battery setting, but I don't know why you wouldn't. There we go, battery. It's got a 1.5 volt, a 9 volt, and a 12 volt. Pretty much covers it. Except for a 6 volt. Um, and it has a carrying case. It needs, it, does it say it has two, two AAA batteries? And safety test leads and thermal couple. So you got your leads and you have your thermal couple um, temperature. So you have your 10 amps here, your common here, and this one does your own and your voltage, and your milliamps, and your temperature. Uh, it's called the CAT3 300 volt professional digital multimeter. Multimeter specifications and features. Three and a half inch LCD display, liquid crystal, liquid crystal display display, with a max reading of uh, 1999. Good year. Prince played the whole New Year's Eve in 98. Played the 1999 song. DC voltage, 200 millivolt, 2 volt, 20 volt, 200 volt, or 300 volt. AC voltage, 200 millivolt, 2 volt, 20 volt, 200 volt, or 300 volt. AC current, 20 milliamps to 200 milliamps to 10 amps. DC current, 20 milliamps to 200 milliamps to 10 milliamps. Resistance, 200 ohm to 2K ohm to 20K ohm to 200K ohm to 2 May ohm to 20 May ohm. Temperature test from 32 Fahrenheit to 1,832 Fahrenheit. Battery test mode for one and a half volts, nine volts, and 12 volt batteries. Diode and continuity test, low battery indication. Data hold maintains test measurements when leads are removed. Non-contact voltage detector. Work light, backlight display, durable rubber molded casing, support stand, safety test leads, thermocouple, and carrying case. Uses two AAA batteries, which are included. Complete operation instructions included. <coughs> Whoops. So there's our thermocouple, there's our thermistor our thermal resistor right there our test leads which are really sharp but they're really they're more like a ballpoint pen but they hurt like hell our triple a our carrying bag and our instructions who's english goes from pages one to 25 So, this should be able to find. Well, they didn't tell you you're gonna need a screwdriver to access that. Sharp. Oops. Here are the AAA batteries that are included. It's got a very tiny screwdriver, tiny Phillips head. Got this awesome baby for under fifteen dollars at at uh, Walmart. Oh, I should go to the UPC. Where's the box? What do I do with the box? The box. UPC <laughs> six eight one one three one one seven four eight four eight five six four two five five three five nine. So you get everything in here, and it even um, magnetizes, demagnetizes, but it comes with one of the sharpest tweezers I ever had, and these are the best tweezers for uh, electronics. It comes with a suction cup to do like the, um, to pull screen and glass and such, and then it comes with the presser. You can use this pick for anything, guitar, but it works better when you're trying to push out the air bubbles. And something that I have no idea what it does, but it does come in handy even if I'm using it incorrectly. <laughs> and then these babies pop open. They got little lines on top of their ridges. They're so awesome. They just pop open all those cases, DS cases and such. I mean, this is like the best. Had everything I needed. Um, they might even have the star ones. Yeah, see, it's got those indents, which I think are great for the original NES Game Boy. 
just has everything. Back to the multimeter. 77 piece electronic repair kit. Yada yada yada, yada 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 yada. Okay. Go. Don't worry, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Now my old display didn't have a back backlight on it. Hopefully I read that this does. I always keep one actually in there, usually like a wider. This is the one I typically use. So I get to choose when the backlight comes on. Off, no light. Oh, you have to hold it down. Looks like an incandescent. Hopefully it's an LED. Very light, very tiny. I'm gonna go do the voltage on 300. Okay, DC, we're on DC. It says it's doing voltage. AC, DC, non-contact. Okay, so you have to hold it down and then you get your high. Let's go try that. Hold that down, do the wrong contact. Where's. So it does diode testing and everything. But I don't see a slot. I don't see a slot for you to put it in here. Usually they have like little holes up here, down here, that you put the diode or capacitor and such in. Let's go try this out. When I hold this down, it'll tell me. Looks like I was misled and looks like I have to read the manual. Catch you guys later.